Thanks for joining us for another virtual craft here with the Paul Sawyer Public Library. I'm Diane Dahoney, your community service librarian here at Paul Sawyer, and today we will be making salt shaker snowmen. Let's get started. If you received a kit when you registered, um, this is what you will have received in your craft kit. So you'll have a salt shaker, a one inch wooden ball, some glitter, and here I've mixed half and half of white glitter and iridescent glitter just to get that really good snowy, sparkly kind of look. But you could use um, all white, you could use all clear or iridescent, whatever you preferred. Um, also, I have some white acrylic paint, a strip of felt, just regular old felt, any color. Um, I have three buttons, and all those things will have been in your kit um, if you registered. Um, in addition to that, you'll also need a hot glue gun, some scissors, a small paintbrush or sponge brush, and a black permanent marker and an orange permanent marker. I'm using Sharpies. I find these to work pretty well with the fine tip, uh, fine point. Uh, also, if you would prefer, you can also use black paint or orange paint uh, with a small paintbrush. Now, if you didn't register and receive a kit from us, all of these items should be readily available um, at uh, your local craft store or um, like Walmart, Target, um, those types of stores as well. So to start off with your salt shaker snowman, um, you're first going to paint your wooden ball. And we have just a little bit of white paint here using just a small, small little paintbrush. But like I said, a sponge brush will work just as well. Or if you have a shallow dish or something with the paint in it, you can actually roll it around and then wipe off the excess any which way that you prefer. Um, I'm just going to be using a paintbrush here. Also, if you have some sort of little um, base, this is just a spool, the hole there in the center where you can kind of sit it while you're painting it or to allow it to dry. I find that that helps a lot as well. So this isn't gonna take very much paint at all. You don't need a very thick coat. It'll take less time to dry that way. And also, it doesn't need to be perfect. You just want to cover it just a nice, good, even coat. Okay, once you get that painted, you're going to set it aside to dry. And then you will take your salt shaker. And uh, if you didn't get a kit, any sort of salt shaker will work. Just a basic, um, we're using just a glass shaker. Um, but they come in all, all, really all shapes and sizes. Some are shorter, some are taller, some are fatter, some are thinner. Uh, whichever you prefer really will work. So you're gonna take that lid off and then you're going to take your glitter. Now, if you have a funnel, um, that will make this a lot less uh, messy. Uh, but if you don't, just kind of take your time. Once you have filled up your salt shaker with your glitter, of course that makes your snow and your snowman. And you'll set him aside for a second. Now we're going to go back to our uh, wooden ball here that we've painted. And I actually did one in advance, so it's already dry. You wanna make sure it's good and dry before you do this next part. You're going to take either your paint or your markers and you're going to draw a face on to your snowman head. 
and I'm just doing really just a basic little face with eyes and mouth just with dots and then the nose I'll draw like a little triangle with the orange to make his little carrot nose. Okay, his face is all done. So our next step is to take the head of our snowman and we're gonna take the lid of the salt shaker and we're gonna glue that on, his, on the top of his head and a little bit off to the side to make a little hat. And to do that, I'm gonna take my glue gun and uh, where I know it's going to be sitting at the front and kind of the side of his head, that's where I'm going to put the glue, just in the rim of the shaker lid. Just like that. So his hat's just kind of, just a little bit off to the side there. And we'll sit that to the side for a second and let it dry as well. Next, we're gonna take the body of our snowman, our base of the salt shaker, and we're gonna attach the head to the body with our glue gun. And there, I'm just going to put it, the glue, right around the top there. A good amount without letting it drip down in. And we'll put the head right on. Just like so. And you'll notice that when I put the head on, um, we want the face to line up with one of the flat parts, the flush um, little sections of the salt shaker base, because that's where we're going to put the snowman's buttons here momentarily. So make sure that's glued on well. Let it dry a little bit. And then we're going to go on to the snowman's scarf. So if you've got a kit, um, you will have gotten this little piece of felt. You may have gotten a different color and some diff different color buttons, but they should be coordinating. Um, if you are doing this at home and with your own supplies, um, any color felt works, any type of buttons. Um, if you have a button jar or just some random buttons lying around, anything will work. Whatever you want your snowman, whatever style or color scheme you want will work just fine. Um, I chose blues today because I thought they looked kind of wintry. And what I'm going to do is take the felt and wrap it around the snowman's neck to make that scarf. And you can kind of fold it a little bit. You can twist it. So it kind of goes around and covers the area where you've glued it, but you don't want to cover up his mouth or his face. And then you'll just tie that in a knot. Just like that. And actually, I didn't even do a full knot. I just uh, crossed it over and pulled it tight because that's actually secure enough. Um, and I don't want the knot to really push out there and um, be obstructive. Uh, I like the way the scarf is laying like that. Now, it's just a little bit too long for my taste, so I'm going to trim those ends just a little bit. You can leave your scarf as short or as long as you like.
And then I'm also going to um, cut some fringe into the bottom of the scarf. Just do uh, little cuts to make um, some little tassel fringe there at the bottom to make it look even more like a scarf. Cut a little bit more off the side here and cut some fringe on this as well. Just like that. And finally, our last step to complete our snowman will be to glue the buttons onto his body. And we'll just use our glue gun to glue those. Uh, I'm just gonna do them vertically up the center of his body. And just like that, you are finished, and you have your very own little salt shaker snowman that will be perfect for your decor all winter long. Thank you for joining us today for Salt Shaker Snowman. I hope you've enjoyed making this craft along with us, and I hope you'll join us again in the very near future. Uh, once you finish your snowman, we do hope that you will log on to our Facebook page for the Paul Sawyer Public Library and share a photo of your finished Salt Shaker Snowman. We'd love to see what you've created. Thanks so much, and we hope to see you again soon. Good night.